what draws me to it is, I think it's kind of more of an intuitive thing. There's just something that feels interesting, compelling to me. Some of them are drawn from uh, actual experiences or places I've been. Um, the image down here off camera um, of the dock uh, is a memory of, of some time I spent with a friend at, at a family cabin of hers. Um, it's not meant to depict that specific place. It's just kind of that memory. Um, and it's just thinking about the, the mood. The, the whole theme of this show between dog and wolf is the idea of this, it's this in-between state. You know, the, the phrase refers to, it's an old, um, an old idiom or phrase that was used to depict dusk, the time when it was getting so dark you couldn't distinguish between unknown, known, danger, um, they're about that in-between state and something I've been fascinated with for a while, what people oftentimes refer to as liminal state. So oftentimes I'm drawn to things that have that sense of, of, of in-betweenness, of, of something not quite where it's going to be. It's in this point of transition. I think of them as a body of work. So I think about elements that carry through. Um, water is in a lot of them. Seasonal stuff is in a lot of them. The titles, some of them have dreams in the title. So there's things that carry through the work to help connect it together. And I also bring in elements, none of the ones behind me are examples of that, but I have elements in some of my paintings that I've used in other paintings from the past. There's a painting with four birds in flight that have appeared in maybe a half a dozen paintings of mine stretching back 20, 25 years. And so there are recurring things I bring in and it's a way of connecting this body of work to my prior body of work because it's all part of this, I don't call it a world, it sounds kind of, um, that's it's not, it's, but it is sort of, you, as painters, as artists, we create our own world. And so it's a way for me to, uh, to connect them together. I do a lot of paintings that don't make it. They, they, um, they're, they're just, they're stepping stones to the next thing. So, um, they're an important step in it. It's not just the final work. It's the things you do leading to the work. And I try to paint every day. It's not some sort of a bragging thing. It's just my practice is to find time every day to do some work. And people say, you know, well, inspiration. And I, my belief is that it just comes out of just being in the studio all the time, just working a little bit. I, if I get two hours a day in the studio, that's great. That's, if it's the morning, just drinking coffee, making notes, I'm in the work and um, it just comes out of just being in the work. It just constantly, your mind is thinking about what you're gonna be doing. And then the stuff comes to you because if I just sat around waiting for an inspiration, um, I probably wouldn't be having a show very much stuff because it's a, it just it's not going to just you're not going to have a thunderbolt strike you. It's going to happen sometimes in the process of making things.